चालीस परसेंट जहां आप कम्पीट करते थे वहां पे अब सारे आ गए सेक्शन other than the classes mentioned in 4 and 5 very important clause please understand something you will not find the word section used in this way in the prior reading of these articles right i'm doing first principle right now which i'm not even going into the larger lectures people should know what your constitution says right i had read to you that you had to be socially and educationally backward classes at one point in time right you have now replaced the word classes with the word sections i will leave it to the imagination of the viewers for a bit as to what kind of deliberative change that can create for legislation going forward and the important second clause of this particular thing that i read to you was other than classes mentioned in 4 and 5 so you are now allowed to make a law for the advancement of weaker sections but those weaker sections are the ones that are not already covered you exclude those people and you can now make a fresh law for those who are excluded as long as they are economically weaker any special provision for the advancement of any economically weaker sections of citizen other than the classes mentioned in 14 5 uh, in clauses 4 and 5 in so far as such special provisions relate to their admission to educational institutions including private educational institutions whether aided or unaided other than the minority educational institutions referred to in clause 1 of article 30 which in the case of reservation would be in addition to the existing which in the case of reservation would be in addition to the existing reservations and subject to a maximum of 10% of the total seats so this is over and above what already exists under 154 and 155 right yeah, so basically 50% and above that's right but where do you get 50% from Well, twenty-seven percent was something or the, that sort was SCST, right? No, no, no. Those are those are outcomes. The Constitution never said fifty percent at any point in time. That you bring in this particular amendment and you effectively destroyed what existed earlier. And for this reason, for the government, it was very important to say we are not reducing what exists. Hmm. And therefore, the argument comes saying, but how can you cross fifty percent? and the answer by the government eventually is but 50% is limited to 154164 if we set up something new which is a vertical reservation we can and that sounds like a smart argument to make today but contemplate the dangers of that argument that mm. argument opens the gateway to proportional quotas tomorrow you can keep making these reservations but you just don't have enough schools you don't don't have enough quality schools your i mean i again i should have pulled out this report but a grade 5 or a grade 6 graduate from a government school in india doesn't know grade 2 maths you may graduate with a high school diploma you are not capable of sitting at a shop and even bean counting right and that is what distinguishes your developed economies because there when you survive when you get out of high school you are employable you are employable in several skills that's so the nub is there but the solution is separate 50% did not find mention in the constitution at any point in time when it came in as an amendment it was because of the number of judgments that had been that had successfully applied that rule but you can say that over a period of time judgments become 
these principles become ossified because of the repetitive use of a concept, right? So over the past 60 years, there's a submission made by Gopal Shankar Narayan that over the past 60 years, over 54 judgments have repeatedly stated that the 50% ceiling must be maintained. But you have breached that 50% ceiling with this amendment. To gain what? I'm, I'm not quite clear. No, but uh, uh, the, the the ceiling has been uh, breached uh, in Tamil Nadu way before this judgment came. They have 69% reservation for how long? Uh, Telangana or Andhra Pradesh also is dabbling with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, now And now Jharkhand, now other states also, but they're doing it after this judgment. Uh, the Tamil Nadu reservation is under challenge. It will eventually be decided. But there are a number of other judgments where on other criteria, 50% was breached and the court brought it back down, starting from uh, the judgment in Embalaji, which predates the Indrasani judgment. They brought it down to 50%. Right? In Tamil Nadu, whatever you do, your backward classes are substantially higher than possibly 69% the way you define them. So unless you start defining out, taking these classes out of those categories, because these are, why are they called scheduled caste, scheduled tribe? Because there is a schedule in the constitution in which this particular class is inserted as an effective amendment to the constitution, therefore. So until you start removing them, you have the scheduled caste order, the, the backward classes orders that are passed, that you have added this, you have added this. So unless you can come start deleting a few, your populations that are entitled to that reservation are actually much higher than 50%. And what does this do? This opens the door to why not a proportional quota now? And why are they able to cross 50%? In fact, that is now answered in this judgment. In order to support the state's contention that I can cross 50%, the court turns around and says, look, this was only judge-made law. And in any event, the exception was carved out that in exceptional circumstances, you can cross 50%. There is a concept of vertical versus horizontal reservation. Vertical mm -hmm. reservation is within that 100%, I'm taking another band and adding it on, which is this. 50 tha, I have diya. Whereas horizontal reservation is... Vertical is SC, ST, OBC, now EWS. Horizontal is women. So in each of these reservation bands, these vertical bands, there will be horizontal band of this many women. This many this women. This women reservation nahi aati hai. That's right. You, it, you don't need to make it a vertical band. This is not coming. To the argument that you have excluded SC, STs, the short answer from the majority judgment is, but we have not excluded you from that which you have already received. And because this is a vertical uh, reservation, that is another 10% is added on, in vertical reservation, by definition, there is a concept of exclusion. When you give vertical reservation to SCST, by definition, you're excluding everybody else. When you give vertical reservation to OBCs, to that category, by definition, excluding everybody else. So to say that somebody is being excluded in a vertical reservation slab is really nothing because that is what a vertical reservation slab is meant to do. Hmm. Right? So that's the answer that they gave to that proposition. To 50%, they say this was never sacrosanct. But it is sacrosanct to 15-4 and 16-4. That they have still maintained. That your reservation under SC, ST and other backward class, that cannot exceed 50%. Except in really exceptional circumstances. Basically, so, reservation can increase 50%, but the SC, ST, OBC cannot increase 50%. That's right. That's right. But this is not... You know, this is judge-made law. It can turn tomorrow. Justice Pardiwala, Justice Bela Trivedi add to this, and they are quite hopeful. In my opinion, they look at this the, with slightly rose-tinted glasses, and they say this is the start of moving away from caste-based reservations because they say a basic feature of our constitution is actually arriving at a casteless society. That was, in fact, the original intent. And the idea of reservations on based on caste was you bring the parity of ruling power and education to a level where now you can ceaselessly become a casteless society. Whereas what is the argument mm -hmm. today? That by keeping quotas, you have made a caste-based society. Right? So these best intentions and all of that, you know. But they say that this amendment, therefore, may be the opening that you need to move towards a casteless society and therefore is protected. Now, Justice Ravindra Bhatt disagrees, agrees completely on the first point that you can have a separate economic criteria. So that's 5 mil. But he knocks it down on only one ground that you could not have excluded SCSTs from this. There is no reasonable classification in his view 
between an economically weaker upper caste and an economically weaker SC and ST. When you create an economic criteria-based vertical selection, right, that vertical selection must apply to all who are in that category. So so basically, uh, even uh, the dissenting judge is not against this at a fundamental level. So, usko reservation se problem nahi hai. That's right. Gen- general category log isko kyo na bolenge? Unko to finally unko bhi reservation mil gayi. 40% percent jahan aap compete karte the, wahan pe ab sare aa gaye. That 40% is everybody. That 40% is not just general category. It is everybody. An SCST can take that 40%. A Dalit, uh, uh, an OBC can take that 40%. Right. So that scope starts to reduce. So if you are celebrating this, then please understand you're perhaps moving towards proportional quotas and that politics will come soon. I promise you it will come soon. And when that politics comes and when it starts taking root, don't think you're going to have too much leadership in the country who is capable of of withstanding that. I'm not worried about the court doing this, by the way, because the court also knows its limitations. I'm more worried about politicians eventually doing this.